sir, did you get cut off? Yeah, I need. I wanted to speak to somebody that worked here. I don't yes. know. Who and are I'm you trying, trying to transfer to... you. Hold on one second. Who are you Hold transferring on. me to? What's the person's name? To the name? police department? Why do we have to get the police involved? I really think we should just talk this out between the zoo because I don't want I don't want to this get in is trouble. The zoo. It's, it's from the zoo, sir. And right. they're the ones who need to verify if something's missing from the zoo. The police department? Yes. It's part of the zoo. So they have their own police department, you're saying? Correct. Correct. Oh, I thought, you were tra I thought you were transferring me to, like, the state police department. I was like, no, that's not sir, good. No, sir, sir. It's part of the zoo. Oh, oh okay. It's part of the zoo. Okay. It's within the zoo. You scared okay? me. Okay? You scared me. So hold me on, and that's who I'm okay. transferring you to. No, it's an actual police department within the zoo. Okay. That's okay? Fine. okay? So hold on one second. All right. Police department guys, you don't screw with the zoo police. Hello, Brookfield Zoo Police Department. Hi, how's it going? I was just explaining to the other lady before. I really think this is a little bit of an issue. I took my son and three of his friends to the zoo today. The Brookfield Zoo? Yes. Okay. And um, when I got home, I didn't notice anything suspicious. But you know, the three of his friends said, "What's that beeping sound?" Um, we're being recorded. Okay, that's fine. Um, so the three of his friends, I don't really like them. They're kind of a bad influence on him and all that. And I was very, you know, I was kind of iffy about taking them because they both have, you know, had a little history about doing things that they weren't supposed to be doing. I really don't want to get into it right now. And um, so we get home. I'm trying to make dinner. And they're outside standing by my car laughing. So I go outside. I'm like, what's the matter? And they're like, D -d doesn't matter, Dad. Don't worry about it. So I was like, okay. So I go back, back inside. And they're like playing in my trunk. And like, okay. I, I go by the trunk. And they have a little penguin inside my trunk. And I asked them where they got it, and they left, and they walked away. And I'm just assuming they got it from you guys. So um, I need to talk to you guys about this. Okay, um, can I, can, let's start off with your name. Okay, my, my name is Jim Collinsworth. Can you spell your last name? C-O-L-L-E-N-S-W-O-R-C-H. -E I'm sorry, C-O-L... C-O-L-E-N-S-W-O-R-C-H. Okay. Okay. And um, are you a member of the zoo? What do you mean am I a member? No, no you just came to the zoo and you paid to come to yeah, the zoo, correct? Uh, yeah, I was just a visitor. This is our first time going. Like, you know, we just moved here maybe a okay. year, year and a half ago. And I'm okay. just concerned. My only question is, I know nothing about these animals. Um, How of big? Of course. Okay, how, so. But, whoa, I well, just had a question. Is it a baby you, penguin? You, is it an adult penguin? Like... If you have a penguin, of course, we would love to have it back. Right. Um, what's your phone number? 818. I'm giving you my cell phone. 818. 275. Okay. 275. 6243. 6243. Correct. So, like, I, what am I supposed to do to you, like, with you guys? How are we going to do this? Yeah. Okay. Well, first of all, um, I'm hoping that you're not joking with me. Oh. That that you're you're serious that this isn't a prank phone call. No, I just don't. And, I don't um, want. I'm gonna call. I don't want anything bad to happen. You know what I mean? Like I just want to settle this without. Right. You know them saying you stole the penguin. Like it was my kids and their stupid friends. I'll reprimand my kids on my own. I don't need. Okay. Well, you know what, I mean? what I'm gonna do right now, right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call my keepers and okay. I'm gonna discuss with them the situation because they are the most knowledgeable staff I have. Okay, that makes sense. And um, I have your phone number, and so if you would just um, hold on a second. Sure. Um, I'm going to get, and what's your son's name? His name is Tyler. Tyler. And then can I have your address? Sure. 52. Mm -hmm. Cauliflower Lane. Cauliflower Lane? Correct. And what town is that in? Sure, let me get this. 
ask my wife is ridiculous. Unit 16 from Wolf. Come on. Because we just moved into an apartment complex I don't even know. It was like a week Okay, ago. you don't know what town you live in? No, we just moved into an apartment complex. Okay. We just got where'd into you it move? maybe two days ago. Oh, where'd you move from? I'm originally from New York. Okay. Yeah, um... And so there was know, your son and two, and two other older children, correct? Yeah, Jacob and Robert were the two other kids. I'm not really too sure about their last names, but I have their parents' phone numbers, so I plan to talk to them as soon as possible. Okay. And what time did you leave the zoo? Um, 3 p.m. around there. And what time did you notice that you remember. had the penguin at your house? Uh, maybe 15, 20 minutes ago. Oh, okay. I mean, because they had it in the car. And where and, and where do you have it now? It's still in my trunk. Should I take it out? Um, I mean, I'm not should, an should animal I person. No, I don't. I've... I mean, it's been in the no, trunk no, no, for a no, while. No, 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 don't, don't... don't feed it. Okay. Um. Oh boy, like this. Um, am I in trouble? Well, sir. Um. You know, you took, I mean, your your son, you're, you're his father, so he took the penguin. But so right now we're just trying to figure out. Right, but it was without my knowledge. I promise you as soon as I found right, out. Right, I understand, I, but. As a, as a parent, I'm like, you know, what should I do? Should I call them? Then I was trying to find the number. Then I finally got the number, and here we are. I understand. Okay, let's let's go on with your address. Okay, so what town? I didn't even ask my wife yet. I'm still trying to figure out why I need to tell because she doesn't know yet i think she's gonna flip out okay yeah, well i'm waiting so i'll, I'm just, I'll just, like, just yeah i just need to get your address i already the 52 cauliflower lane oh i'm sorry yeah i got your i got 52 cauliflower lane but what right. town i i just i'm gonna talk, i'm gonna talk to my wife just hold on one second okay One hundred two from Central One Hundred Two. Okay, ten four six. Do you want to talk to her? Ma'am, she's not answering her phone. Okay. She's she's um, not home with me. Like, when I tell so you we literally did... moved in a week ago, it's... Yeah, I understand, but when yeah. you move, you usually, you know... Well, how long did it take you to get to the zoo? Uh, maybe 20, 25 minutes without traffic. Okay, so it took you about 20 minutes. Do you know... Do you know which road you took? Like, 55, 290, 294? Like I, I used my GPS, and to be honest, when it just, it's, you know, turn left, turn right, I just kind of listen to it. I'm new to the area. I don't know anything, really. Which, I'm, tr I'm trying to be as helpful as possible, and I, f I feel bad, but, you know, my wife's not answering. And this is making it really hard for me. Okay. But, I mean, on, like, should, it's been in my trunk for a while. I don't it's still moving and stuff. I mean, if I open it, it's probably going to jump out. But I have it open, you know, halfway so I can't get out, but it can still breathe. Okay, well, I'm just waiting for a keeper. Um, do you have any mail or maybe how about your lease agreement? Do you have your lease agreement later uh, I'm, I'm so seriously that... looking through everything. The file cabinet, my wife did everything. And me and her are on, you know, a, th a thin layer of ice with our relationship. So I'm trying to not let her know what just happened. Okay. Um, is your son home? He is. He's somewhere in the house. He's probably. I can find him. How do you guys want to oh, talk to him? Oh, could I talk? Yeah, yeah. I would love to talk to your son. Okay. Are you guys gonna like yell at him or anything? No, I'm not gonna yell at him. I just, I just want to ask him for information. You know, see why he took it and everything like that. Where did he meet his friends? I, t I took. You've only. Like they. I know, up but in my you've house. been. You've been there a week, so we already made friends with people in the apartment? 
No, no, no. What ha- what my whole situation, I'm going to try to explain. My wife and my son moved into this apartment because me and my wife fought maybe three months ago. Okay. And we just kind of made up and she let me move in. Oh, okay. So, like, I don't know if he would know. I don't know. So, I'm going to go check in his room. Um, so, you, you want to speak to him? Yeah, I would love to speak to your son. All right. He's 14 years old and his name is Brendan, okay? Okay, Brendan. Okay. Yeah, his his name is Brendan. My name's Jim. Right, I got that. Okay, so just let me let me get him. Hold on, I'm just gonna put the phone down. Okay. Hey Brendan. What? Um, there's the zoo people on the phone. Oh, they want to talk to you. Okay. Hold, hold on. Hello? Brendan? Hi, who, who's this? Hi. Um, my name is Miss Alabastro from the Brookfield Zoo Police Department. Hi, Miss Alabastro. And so, your, your father has told me that you took one of our penguins home. Is this true? What? Yeah, it is true, but I didn't think he was going to tell you that. He said he wasn't going to. Well, do you know that you took a penguin from his exhibit and but you it, know that that's so not good? But it's so cute, ma'am. It was so cute. You should have seen it. Um, Brendan, what's your birthday? Ma'am, why why do I have to tell you this? Are you going to be mad at me? Well, you did take one of our penguins, and I'm and I'm trying to be as polite. So what we're going to want to do is so um, how did you take it from the exhibit? Well, me and my two friends, we went there, and we kind of saw the penguin there. And, you know, my two friends, they're they're very bad, and they, you know, they they kind of like to do bad things. How about you, would you, yeah, but explain to me, like, what was the first thing you did? What did the exhibit look like? Well, to be honest. You know, how did you do it? To to be honest, I went to the bathroom, and my friends are going to be so mad that I'm telling you this, but you seem like a nice lady, so I'm going to tell you. And, you know, I go to the bathroom, and one of them comes in, and he had a big jacket on, and he's like, look, Brandon. And he had the penguin. And I was like, oh, my God. And they said, you know, just don't tell your dad. And I said, I won't. And they gave it to me, and I kind of hid it in my bag. And then we just kind of went to the car. So I don't know how they got it out, to be honest. But I can tell you I just put it into the trunk. Right. Um, okay, so let's see. So you, you're, you're telling me you had nothing to do. Brendan, you know what else I would like to know? Do you know what town you live in? No, to be honest, my, my mom doesn't really talk to me much. Um, did my dad tell you that they fight all the time? Yeah, he did. Yeah, but, you know, and, you know this I'm is just like the wondering third, how... This is like the third time I had to move, and it's just really hard to make friends. And these were the two friends I made because they were in an apartment next door. And they, oh, okay. they seem like nice kids. See, I don't know. My mom doesn't really tell me much. It's just one day she wakes up and she's like, Brendan, we're moving and we, we go. And it's it's really upsetting. Okay, Brendan. Um, do you have the same last name as your dad? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, and so Jacob and Robert here, they, they helped you take this penguin from the exhibit, huh? Yeah. Um, am, am I yeah. in trouble? Um, no, right now, right now, we're just thinking of how we can get our penguin back. Right. So, should should um, I have my dad you, drive it to you guys? Yeah. Would you want to, co- could you come back to the zoo and meet me and I can help and I can get this penguin back? Why do I have to come though? Are you guys going to like take well, me in and arrest me? Well, um, I would like to meet you. Well, what are you going to do to me? Um, I'm not going to do anything to you. We just want to get our penguin back if you if you have it. Right, so you know? can, can my dad just bring the penguin back to you and I'll stay well, home? Well, we, if, if you're, if, you know, we, yeah, we just want the penguin back. So if I could give you directions, um, you know, I don't know where you live, so that's, that's difficult for me to give you mm-hmm. directions. So, um, hey, could you, um... So he said he had GPS, and that's how you got here, correct? Yeah. So I, I'm. I think if I go to the um into the GPS, there's like a recent selection or something like that, and I can ju- I can tell my dad to do that. Okay. There's that. Yeah. Um. Do you have any mail sitting around, or maybe like, like some junk mail or a newspaper and anything that could help me know where 
you live, so I know I, how I, long it might take. I think my dad was looking for that before. I can look if you want. Oh, yeah, that would be okay, great. Okay, I'll just take the phone. It'll... Okay, so let me look. Let's see. Just let me go down the stairs. Um, I found a newspaper. Oh, but it, it doesn't have oh. any ad no, it doesn't have the address on it though. It doesn't have an address. Okay. Um, mm. I'm I'm really I really oh, feel is it bad. A, is it a Chicago is it a Chicago Tribune or um, um sometimes play, or is it a Playboy. Song paper? Playboy. What? Playboy. Okay, so look for the label on the side. Like there's, it should have been delivered no, to you. There's no label on the front or on the back. Okay. So it was bought. It wasn't mailed to you. I, I didn't buy it. Brendan, how old are you? I'm 14. Oh, great. Oh, do you know, um, when will you start school? What do you mean? Yeah, aren't you going to go to school? You're 14, um, so you'll go to I'm school, really... correct? Why are you asking me all these weird questions, ma'am? I'm just, I'm trying to help you with a penguin. Okay, well, can I talk to your dad again, then? Okay, um, I have a feeling you guys are all going to tell him that I'm in big trouble. Okay. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah, I'm just going to talk to your dad and ask him to bring our penguin back, okay? You promise? Yeah, I promise. You stay at home and you just have your dad bring the penguin back. Yeah, and can I talk to Jim, please? Is my dad going to be in trouble? No, he's not in trouble. We just want to get our penguin back. <sighs> okay, okay. I'll, I'll get him. But, I mean, I understand that you called, so you must be very concerned, and I understand you must be, you know, a, a very a kind person and you want us to have their penguin back. Of course. Of course. So, yeah. So, just, you know, I'm going to ask to talk to your dad, and then I'm going to ask him to um, bring our penguin back, and then, you know, that'll be it. Dad, the lady wants to talk to you. Okay. Okay. Thanks, son. Yeah, go back out in the park, please. Hello. Gotcha. Go back in the park. Thank Hello. you. Hello. 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 Yes. Hi. Jim? Um. Yeah, my son said you want to speak to me again. Oh, yeah. Would you mind just driving the penguin back to the zoo, please? Uh, sure. Or, I mean, um, I, mean I, I have no problem there. doing that. I'm just, what's gonna, what's the repercussions gonna be? Um, we're just gonna ask, um, that you just return the penguin back. That's it. Alright, so no hard feelings? Ma'am? Um, Jim, are you able to go out to your car and look at the penguin for me? Uh, sure. L let me do that for you. I, I really have no training around penguins, just so you know. That's fine. It, I mean, you know, it, I just need you to look at it for me so that we can identify it, okay? Uh, all right. Let me, um, all right, I'll go. Because what we do with all our animals at the zoo is we put a little band on it that tells us which one, you know, penguins all look alike. So we right. put this little band that let, helps us too. I just need you to tell me what color it is. Oh, okay. And that, which wing it is. Yeah, yeah, it's Ooh, easy. Sorry, I almost fell down my stoop. All right, um, so where's this band going to be? Is it going to be around the neck, around the It's going to be wing? on their wing. Yeah, Wh and you just tell wing? me which side it is. No, just tell, you tell me which side it is. Yeah, but you have to understand it's in a trunk. I don't want to open it too, too much. No, I'm, it'll I'm be okay. It's not, gonna, it's not a line. It's not going to attack you. All righty, if, if you say so. Where the hell are my keys? All right, here we go. All right, I'm, I'm going to put the, the phone kind of down so I can open up the trunk and look, because I need two hands to do this. Okay. All right, sure, just hold Okay. On. I can I can hear it moving in there, ma'am. Okay, that's all right. It's gonna move. You know, it's a, it's a, it's an animal, so it's not gonna attack you. How do you how do you know that? I have no training. I don't really want to go near this animal that I have no training to be around. 
I know, but um, I have training from my keepers, and they're telling me that this is important for them to know, okay? I I'm really scared, ma'am. Would one of you guys be able to come out here to look at it? Yeah, I, I realize you would like us to come there, but we don't know what town you live in. Should I just should I just drive to you guys, and then if it's then we can look at the penguin, or you have you guys look at the penguin? Yes, come come back to the zoo and give us our penguin back. That would be great. Awesome. Um, wait, hold, hold awesome. stop moving. I can look if you want. Yeah. So you're gonna come back to the zoo, right, Jim? Of course. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Just just. But I, I'm able to open up the trunk a little bit. It doesn't. It stops like jumping around, so I might be able to look. No, no, no. He's not. I asked him that. No, he just moved here from New York. Oh God damn it! Oh boy, I, I think you're gonna need to send somebody here, man. Why? Um, it got out of my trunk. It got out of your trunk? Yeah, and it's walking down my driveway. What do I do? It's walking down your driveway? What, ma'am, well, what do I do? You're gonna... I, I have I mean, no training you're around gonna, these animals. Well, you're gonna hold it by its wings and... Yeah, I need to know what town you're living in, so maybe go, <sighs> like, ma ask the neighbor. It's now, it's now in the road. What? I have I to know. pick it up by its wings? Send... Oh, no, man. like, this is I need to send help, this so I need you to find what town you live in. Okay, but if I go back in the house, the penguin's still gonna be walking. Okay. So, do you want me to follow the penguin or run back into the house? Um, well, isn't there neighbors or houses? So maybe you can, you know. It's it's an apartment complex, so I'm going I'm going to oh. run inside. Oh. Um, sir, do you have do you have a blanket in your car or a coat blanket, or a towel? A coat. Um, let me see. A towel? I have a winter jacket. Okay, a winter jacket. Okay. Great. You're okay. going to throw that over the penguin. And hold him firmly on the body with both hands on each side. Like you were holding like, um, like a, a glass like a face or an infant. Yes, just like a baby. Oh, yeah. boy. And don't be nervous. Just take a deep it's breath. It's a freaking gonna... penguin. I've, I've seen stuff on TV take, and take, they seem dangerous. I know. Take, and take it's a out deep of its breath. environment. Oh, my God. Okay, take a deep breath and you're going to throw the jacket you know what? safely over the penguin. Oh, and man. then you're going to grab it firmly on both sides with two hands. I'm putting the phone down to do okay. this. this is ridiculous. Yeah, absolutely. Put the phone down. Get the penguin back in the car. All right, I threw the coat around it. Now what do I do? Okay, now you're going to pick it up firmly with two hands, one on each side, and then put it back into the car. Do I with I pick up, like, the jacket? Yes, with the jacket so that it can't see you. You're, like, distracting it. Wait, so I, I threw the... Picture this. I threw the coat over its face. So do I pick it up from the front or the back? So now you have it on the jacket, correct? No, I, I threw the jacket over the front of the right. penguin, so it can't really see. So I do I pick it up right. from the now front pick... or the back of the penguin? Now pick it up. By the front or the back or like the side? The back, from the back. Let me let me put this in the, hold on. All right. Now, I, okay, I'm, I'm picking it up. Okay. I have the ear, I have the phone on my shoulder. This is kind of hard, but I, I'm kind of doing this. Yeah, you can go ahead and put the phone down. It's all right. Put the penguin back in the car. Okay, just uh, I'll, let, me, let me do this. I'm putting the phone down. Shit. Ma'am, ma'am, it squirmed. Yeah, that's okay. It's going to squirm. No, it's no. just like a baby squirm. Yeah, it squirmed and I got scared because I thought it was going to bite me and I dropped it and it's walking away again. No, it's okay. But we would love to be able to help you. Um, so once you get this penguin there, we would love to be able to come and get it back so if we can find what town. God. Ma'am, I, I don't even know how to deal with this. I, I apologize. I'm just so scared. So scared. I'm, my my kid's gonna be in so much trouble. I'm gonna like kick his ass. How do we not? All state insurance is calling. Are we going on to now? How do? Where does the phone call go when I can't pick it up? 
He said 20 to 25 minutes. I know. Ma'am, ma'am, I was able to get it back in the trunk. Oh, good job. Okay. I'm so proud of you, Jim. You got it back in the car. Okay. Now, what can you, you know what I would like you to do is go get that GPS of yours. And I want you to, to say, go back to the zoo so I can try to figure out where you live. And if you tell me the directions, that's going to help me out so much. Should, okay? Should I, should I just go, should I just follow it to the zoo so we can all figure this out since this yeah. is a trunk? Yeah. Are you going to call, you're going to come back, Jim? Uh, oh, of course. As soon as I'm turning, yeah, my GPS oh, is on right now. Okay. I'll, I'll be on my way. I mean, yeah, I'll drive, have, I'm not going to speed, but I'll drive carefully. So just give me like 20 yeah. minutes. And I, okay, and I have a keeper here that uh, was going to come and get the penguin for me, okay, Jim? Perfect. Now, I'm going to give you my phone number so that you can call me back if you have any trouble. And um, I'm going to give you my name so you can call me back, okay? Uh, sure. So it's 708. You lived in L.A., right, before you came here? I'm sorry? You, you're from Los Angeles before you came here, correct? At one point I did live in Los Angeles, then I moved to New York, and now I'm here. Oh, okay. So just... you did live in L.A., and then you went to New York. Okay. Right. Does Does that matter? No. All right, by the way, I look forward to meeting you. So my phone number is 688. Okay. 8811, and that's um, area code 708. Okay. All right, it was, okay, okay. I'll see you soon. And then um, what color car do you want? Can I give you, can I have your car information? Okay, it's a Royal Blue. So I can blue, look for you? Royal Blue Nissan, royal, a Royal Blue Nissan. Nissan Sentra. Okay, and then can I have your license plate? Because we check license plates before we come in the zoo to verify guests. You can tell it's a Royal Blue. I, I'm really yeah. ashamed of I know, can I just, I know. I know, can I just have your license plate? Because we give it to the gate attendant for security purposes. How about when I get it's to the gate, I'll call you? Well, it's because it's after hours. So we check okay. to make sure that every all the guests. So if you're standing right by your car, so you could give it to me. It'll be all right. Yeah, I, I know, ma'am, but I'm just I'm just worried. I don't want to get in any trouble. Well, um, we just want our penguin back, so we just need this information so we can get you back in the zoo, okay? Yeah, and I, I don't mean to worry you. Or to like flip to have you flip out, or I'm probably gonna get in so much trouble. But you know, I'm I'm gonna open up the trunk again because I accidentally I didn't mean to shut the trunk all the way. Okay, no, but I just need your license plate, and then I'll no, see you in 20 minutes, correct? Right, but and I'm opening, yeah, I'm opening up the trunk again, and it's not moving. Okay, well, um, I just need I just need I your mean, license plate, I and then I'll see you. I don't think that's good. I'm like, hold, just let me let me touch. Yeah, I'm touching it. It's not. It's not moving. Okay, but we still would like it back. So if you could just come in, um, that I, would be I, great. Ma'am, I think it's dead. I, I'm no doctor, but it's not moving. And you can leave it at the attendant at the south gate. That's okay. Uh, all right, I'll do that. So I okay. guess I'll just take off now, and I'll see you in 20 minutes. <sighs> okay, I'll see you in 20 minutes then, okay? Okay, bye. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that was like a half hour call but press 10 if you think that was freaking epic because i did <laughs> Jeez, i did screw up i said my son's name was tyler then i got on as brendan but to be honest she was so worried about this penguin she didn't care. Oh my god. <laughs>